morning y'all welcome or welcome back to another video this video is going to be a maintenance vlog but i got my lashes done yesterday so i went shorter not really but i usually do volume and i usually do 15 in the corner for the smallest length and then 18 as the longest but we switched to 13 to 18 and i really like how it gives me that like you know that cat eye look i really am feeling this and i can't wait until you know like they fall out a little bit and they're not as full and boom but like i know i look crazy right now because i don't have nothing else done but my lashes but once i get my hair done i promise y'all it's gonna eat so please please just bear with me here okay a hair appointment tomorrow a nail appointment and i need to get my eyebrows waxed and i'm debating on if i want to get a pedicure or not um i probably will but i just don't know when i'm gonna put it when I'm going to do it, probably right after my nail appointment though. So I'm on like my baddie on a budget thing if you haven't been to. And I'm on a strict, 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 strict budget. I'm literally limiting myself to like one maintenance a month. Excluding like hair though. Because I cannot wear a one month old wig. I just can't do it. No shade to the girls that do but me. I can't do it. But I'm limiting myself to one maintenance, like one maintenance week a month. And that's like including nails, pedicure, and lashes. That's not including my hair. So this is my one maintenance of... February which is at the end but I won't get another one till like the end of March if that makes sense. like I told y'all my hair appointment is tomorrow so underneath this bonnet right now is literally my gel braids so I need to go ahead and wash and blow dry my hair today and then tomorrow I'm getting oh I didn't even tell you I'm getting one of my old wigs installed I literally have a cabinet full of old wigs that I wore once and never wore again and I was talking to my stylist about it. she was like why you why you just don't let me reinstall them I'm like oh shit why don't I so I'm really probably about to clear that thing out and just start reinstalling wigs because we don't let money go to waste around here. I mean, I didn't buy them actually, so I can't even say that. Ooh, I've been down bad for so long. Next time y'all see me, I will be getting this hair laid and slayed, so yeah. My hair is done. I just put it back in a claw clip because I'm about to eat. I just look so cute. Like, it's given already. We ain't even doing the maintenance yet and it's already eaten. This is just a straight black wig. This is from Wiggins. This is actually a reinstall. This is our second time installing this wig. And as you can see, the lace is still eating. Like, this is a fresh bust down and it's not. I got this wig installed in October for my birthday and I'm wearing it again. My hairstylist gave me, hold on, this hair all over my tripod. It looks so good. It looks like I just got my hair freshly done, even though this is an old wig. So I'm just now getting back in the house. It's um, 8.52, 8.53 now. I had a late appointment. Yeah, I just picked up some dinner. I picked up Chipotle. I got a burrito. I'm not really too much of it. I'm not really, ooh. I don't know, Chipotle burritos, I got to crave it, and I was actually craving it. I'm starting to feel like myself again, just like a bad bitch. Like, the lashes is, ooh, baby, what happened to my burrito? What the? What happened to my burrito? This is gonna fall apart. Look at all this sour cream on my burrito. Like it's exploding out. I'm just unwinding. I'm about to really just chill for the rest of the night. Um, I really don't have too much. I don't have nothing else going on. My nail appointment is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So we're gonna wake up at like 7-ish, probably 7 o'clock. Get ourselves together. I have a lot of other stuff planned for tomorrow that I wanna do with y'all. Um, we ain't gonna get into that. We're just gonna start showing y'all instead of speaking so much so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh wrap my hair up put my bonnet on put my scarf on and just lay down and i will meet you guys first thing in the morning
whip up my appetite Don't leave me here high and dry Oh my god, I just feel like the baddest on earth right now. Like, y'all can't tell me nothing right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm giving face card, I'm giving lashes, I'm giving no lace, I'm giving fit. I'm just giving when he's big eight. Y'all know this is from Dream424. This is the new drop. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this set. It is so perfect. Like, just look at the little details. Like, on the sleeves, it's like. You got this i don't know what you call it but i just i love this so much it's the same on the little waistband dream 424 like the way i rep dream 424 you would think i'm the business owner but gabby you did your shit with this one this is my favorite job yet but i just got ready as y'all seen i took a shower did oral hygiene skincare put on my perfume for the day i'm wearing yara and burberry her that's been my new go-to i'm about to put on some elf lip oil i like to put a lot on y'all I like my lips to look plump and juicy. But I am so excited for today. Like, I'm just so excited to finish my maintenance off because I already feel like that girl. And all I do is have my hair and lashes done. Like, that's really all it takes. I haven't had my lashes done that I actually really, really liked in a long time. I don't know. Like, my lash tech, she just did what needed to be done with this set. Like, I... Oh, see, I'm so glad I just looked at my jewelry tray because I got to put my rings on. It is nail day. Rings are mandatory all nail day i'm wearing gold today apple watch band and my you know van cleef so this is the one on my middle finger and on my ring finger i mean on my other hand and i'm gonna wear my this says blessed i don't know if y'all can see it so these are my two rings of the day enough of me yapping i'm so ready to get these nails done i'm about to pack my bag make sure i got my tripod some extra batteries um all that good stuff and we're gonna head to the car i'm actually going to get coffee from somewhere we don't usually get coffee from because they just had a new drink drop and it sounds so 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 good so yeah i'm gonna meet y'all in the car probably once we arrive to the coffee shop can I get the ice cinnamon crunch latte? Um, no, that's all. I got a gift card, y'all. I forgot about this. Um, I have this, and then I'll pay the rest with card. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. This is actually big as freak. I that's why when I was at the window, I don't know if y'all noticed, I was a little stuck for a second. Because she didn't ask me what size I wanted. Okay, I just left Scooter's Coffee. That's what the place is called. They have a new cinnamon toast crunch latte. They actually crumble up the Cinnamon Toast Crunch pieces. I don't know if y'all can tell that they're like crushed up Cinnamon Toast Crunch pieces. But yeah, they crumbled them up and that's why the pieces like, yeah, okay, I see. So this is what it looks like. We're going to try it together. I'm excited. I love me. Try I love trying me a new good coffee. Well, hopefully it's good because actually I don't like scooters. Like nothing they have is good. Okay, hold on. Hold on because... Okay, let me let me give y'all the vision I'm getting from this. Imagine you just finish a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch, right? And the bowl is just left with the the milk from the cinnamon toast crunch. But imagine that, but poured into like over some espresso. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like you finish your cinnamon toast crunch, but the milk, the milk of the cinnamon toast crunch, and then just with a shot of espresso over it. That's what this tastes like. I like it because I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like, that's literally one of the very few cereals that I still eat to this day. Um, I give it like a 9 out of 10. Let me text Gabby because I told her I was going to let her know how it is. I just love having friends who are into the same stuff as me. Like, I'm into like, I don't want to say it's weird, but like, I like, I don't know. Like, stuff like coffee, you know, Pilates, girly things, pink things. That makes me happy. And Gabby is like the same exact way. And that's why me and Gabby click. Because we just have the same interests. And we just we, we just those type of girls. You know what I'm saying? I just love having friends like that. But yeah, that was good. I'm about to go ahead and head to my nail appointment. So I was indecisive. I still am. I think I'm going to just get white French tip. Because I just booked a friendship appointment. I didn't book no extra add-ons. Nothing like that. I'm getting long friendships. That's literally all I booked. I was so hooked on these pink ones. And I still am. They are so cute. But they're short. So I'm thinking I'm going to get long today and then when I go back for a fill in like two or three weeks, I'm going to cut them down and get these, right? But today, okay, nope. Today I think I'm going to just get some long white friendships because if you can't tell, like the base is pretty much the same, that pink color. I also thought about black, but I'm really not feeling black right now. I thought about these. Y'all know the little pink bow is trending, but I'm kind of like over those already. So 
yeah those were my options that i had in mind i think we're gonna do these today we are about to head to my nail tech we're about to head to her shop and i will meet y'all there i'm so excited i'm about to be like y'all know how i get i talk with my hands anyway so when i get them nails when i get them nails yeah Oh my god, I just feel like that girl again. Like, life is worth living. You know what I mean? The nails is just these white Frenchies, but instead of like the new base I usually do, we did like a pink, pinkish base. For the past like two weeks, I want to say I have been practicing makeup and I'm actually getting pretty good if I will say so myself. Um, I haven't really shown y'all because the internet can be so mean and I just want to wait until I'm not even gonna say perfect it because you know time 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 that takes time but I want to wait until I'm like pretty good pretty decent and then I'll you know start coming on camera doing my makeup with y'all showing y'all how I do my makeup but right now I'm still in the practicing process and I suck at taking criticism I feel like when people criticize me I'm like what's your issue with me so I just decided to learn this off camera just as I have been learning cooking off camera, I just want to learn my stuff off camera and do it for the purpose that I want to do it and not be like, oh, I just want to make content out of this and stuff. I actually want to get good at this type of stuff. This one company reached out to me and they're sending me a vanity for promo and I'm so excited because that was just my sign like girl maybe you should tap into makeup and i've always wanted to be a makeup girl i just never could really get into it and i always found myself giving up easily because i'm just not good like all the other girls but we're not doing that no more um i have a lot of products at home actually but now that i'm like practicing and practicing more i'm realizing like some of the stuff is not my color some of the stuff just don't go good with my skin so i've been doing a lot of research well not really research i've been doing my research on tiktok okay i wrote down a list of products i'm gonna get i'm not getting like a whole makeup thing because like I told you I have a lot of products at home that have been working fine but some products are just not working for me so we're gonna go to Ulta this is really on a budget like all my products I'm getting are cheap they're like elf Maybelline NYX they're not the expensive products I do want to elevate eventually to the more expensive products but me being new to makeup it doesn't make sense to go buy $40 foundation I might as well start with the cheap good stuff and then work my way up let's go ahead and run to Ulta I'm so excited all right y'all I'm in Ulta and I'm in the makeup section. I'm going to get e.l.f. I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. I know for sure this is the primer the girl said to get. It's $10. It's Power Grip. This is the one the girls live by. I have this. I have something like this. It's the e.l.f. one. But it's in like a... It's in like one of these bags. This is the one I have. And this is the one I just picked up. So these are actually different. I also have the lip oils. This is the one I have. It's not here. Coral fixation. That's kind of cute. It's like an orange. I need the butter glasses. These are the, the glasses the girls use to get the cute lip combo. I'm gonna get like a pinkish one and a brownish one. I don't know which one I need. My eyebrows are pretty dark. Espresso. That's Morphe. Why is it right there? 
espresso because my eyebrows are dark y'all know they're tattooed so i really won't need much but i feel like i should go darker this is where it's gonna get tricky because i don't know how to figure out my color i don't know y'all these are obviously way too light i'm gonna get this the hello kitty is there only one I think there's only one. So maybe I should get two. It's only four dollars a piece. I still have the topicals for one, but these are just so cute and girly. So I'm gonna get two. Two packs. And I guess they system about to go down for a couple minutes. So she asked me if I was gonna be shopping around or whatever until then. So I mean I guess so. So I guess I'm gonna keep looking. I could ask for help and make sure I have the right colors for that powder the powder and the concealer i probably should do that while i'm in here see if they can like help match and make sure i'm picking up the right thing so i'm not wasting my money and i'm gonna ask for help because i don't have money to waste right now but i just left ulta my budget for today was a hundred dollars and i spent 102 so i'm gonna give you a quick haul and then i'm gonna head over to sephora i'm not gonna vlog in sephora i just want to find the summer fridays the lip thing all the girls going crazy over i'm a fiend for a good lippy ulta haul i'm so excited to get into makeup i just i don't know y'all i love being a girl like i just love everything girly if it's pink i'm back in my pink era if you couldn't tell if it's pink if it's girly like give it to me i'm just i just want to be in my soft girl girly do whatever the hell i want era and that's what it's given okay ulta haul for real this time i got the elf power grip primer this is the one everybody use i see my homegirl use it all the time fit me powder i didn't actually let her match or anything this is probably way too light now that it's okay packs of the hello kitty under eye thingies i'm gonna do one tonight and then just save the other one for another day like i told y'all all things girly hand it here hand it here I got this Morphe Mini Continuous Prep and Set Mist. I seen this girl on TikTok use it. I wasn't gonna get this, but I seen her use it after she, like, I don't know if it was before or after she applied, like, concealer and stuff, and it's supposed to help, like, you know, melt in your face. I got the two NYX Butter Glosses, one in the shade Cream Brulee, the other in Caramel. Um, I did actually pick up another lippy. I said I wasn't going to, but I picked up the e.l.f., the coral fixation. The one I was talking to y'all about, I ended up picking up. It's only like $8, so. Um, this is the one she matched me with. It's Tarte. It's a mini. They didn't have the full-size bottle, so I just told her a mini would be fine for now. Yeah, and then last thing I got was the NYX eyebrow pencil. And all this was $102. Makeup is really expensive, but it's not something I too much mind. It's just something I actually want to do with my time. So, I'm about to head over to Sephora and pick up the summer fridays and after that we are gonna head to the nail shop i probably won't talk to y'all again in the middle of that so i'm going to the nail shop to get my toes done actually let me check my bank account girl what we're gonna go get those wax and then we're going to get a pedicure and that's it for our maintenance and then we're gonna go home and do a self-care night tonight so i found it this is the secret oh sweet mint it's the summer friday sweet mint y'all done made me spend 25 dollars on this it better live up to the hype y'all made it out to me i want to try it on but it's something on my lips i'm gonna just wipe it off with my uh for my jacket i wipe whatever was on my lips this is what it looks like it's just in a green tube <sighs> the lippies girl these oh i love the applicator my camera just went black mm -mm -mm. dang is it coming out i mean mm, yeah this is what you call a good gloss. Y'all did not let me down. Summer Fridays, girls. Shout out to y'all. All right, y'all. I'm back in the car. I'm right outside the nail shop. I've decided to just get my eyebrows waxed. And I think I'm going to get my lip waxed because... Okay. Y'all probably think I'm being dramatic, but I'm not. The peach fuzz is peach fuzzing. And yeah. But I put on a wig band because I don't want her getting too close to this lace. I mean, she might have me lifted up a little bit to get the top part, but... I think we'll just do the brows. I'm not even gonna be extra today. So let's just go get our brows waxed.
come back. I picked up my package. This is, I think this, not PF. Gorilla. It has a gorilla. Oh! No, 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 no. I remember. I didn't think I had the sign for this, though. I guess because it's from uh the UK. All right, y'all. So this girl sent me clothes. Oh, she gave me a coat I could use with y'all. I'm going to try this on when I get home for y'all. She gave me a coat that I could share with y'all to get 30% off. 30% off is crazy, y'all. That's Y'all better shop because this is so cute. Her brand is called Jim Beast Fit. Jim Beast Fitness UK. I'm gonna put it on the screen. This is her little thank you card. I'm gonna share the code with y'all one outset. And I have been in my workout era. Like, just imagine when the body, when the ass start assing, the abs start. Ah! It comes with a jacket. It's a little crop jacket that says Jim Beast on it. It's hot pink. It comes with, oh, this is, I love this. It comes with a sports bra that says Jim Beast. And the back is like uh, crossed and open. It comes with some leggings. Jim Beast as well. And on the butt, it got this. Oh, we going to the gym tonight. Y'all, this is so fire. This eight. All right, hey y'all, I'm back. I know I probably look a mess. I just got out the shower. I'm about to go ahead and put my hair in a claw clip and do my under eye masks. The past couple hours, it's like eight o'clock. The past couple hours I've been on the phone with my tax man, doing my taxes. Content creator taxes are nothing like regular taxes. I will say that. That's just what comes to be the content creator. And nobody really talks about that part. Um, but when people usually ask me about taxes, I don't have anything to say because I have a tax man and he just does all that. But we were going over like, you know, write-offs and stuff. How much I am owe and stuff. How much I owe. Ooh, I love this. Shout out to the girls for real. Uh, but yeah, that, that kind of brought my mood down a little bit. <laughs> don't know why I want to sit and talk about taxes. Now, if I had a return, it would be a different story, but I don't. <laughs> That's what they look like. Oh, these are so cute. We got one on. And I don't know what I want to do tonight. I don't know if I want to pull an all-nighter and work on this video. I probably should, because <laughs> tax time done took my money. Um, so I better make it back. I probably should. It's only Wednesday, and I actually haven't been productive at all this week. I've just been doing maintenance and stuff. I've been filming for y'all. I haven't really done any, I haven't done any schoolwork. Um, but the good thing for me is my schoolwork is never due Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Everything is always due Saturday, Sunday. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna crack open an energy drink. I know you're probably like, girl, I know, I know. I don't want to, but I need to. I'm about to go ahead and go to the kitchen, <sighs> crack open an energy drink. And I'll meet y'all back in the room. I put my scarf on, my bonnet on because we's in the bed. I got my MacBook. We are about to get to work. As soon as I touch this bed, I just got tired. There's work to be done. There's money to be made. Let's just get to it. I'm about to be editing this video for the rest of the night. Literally start to finish. I actually didn't get an energy drink. I just popped open a poppy. This is the cola flavor. Really not my favorite, but this is all I had left, so... I'm about to put on some YouTube and see if any of my girlies post it and hopefully I have something to watch while I edit. I hope you guys enjoyed my maintenance vlog. I feel good. I look good. Everything is good. Life is good. I hope y'all enjoy and I will see y'all in the next video.